So hello, hello, and welcome back. Tonight we are talking about printf and why you should use that instead of echo. If at any time during this you've got that aha moment, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And right now, before we do anything else, please head to gist.github.com and make yourself a little markdown note as you follow along so that you learn and don't forget. Now, in the past, I've made the mistake of showing you how to use... Oh, let, let me, let me... <laughs> Here we go. In, in, in the past, I was showing you just that github.com earlier. In the past, I made the mistake of showing you how to use Echo instead of printf. And I have a philosophy that it is better to learn one tool that does the job than to learn five tools that do the job, unless there's something really special. And printf is the best tool for being able to print out to the screen. So let's say I want to do a little hello world here. I can print that back out to the screen to debug to myself. Now you'll notice in my, in my terminal, I get this little extra return carriage character. If you were to do this in yours, you might actually just get the prompt printed on the same line. And the reason is printf prints only exactly what you give it. So if you do not tell it to print a new line, it will not print a new line. And the way you tell it to print a new line is with backslash n. Remember, a normal slash is the kind of slash that's in a URL or a file path. Normal slash is forward slash, that's a slash. Backslash is a special character that means either treat the next character as normal if it's special, or treat the next character as special if it's otherwise normal. So n would normally be a character we'd print to the screen. Backslash n makes it a new line. So if I do this again, you can see it prints hello world. Now let's say that I wanna create an empty file, which is something we wanna do a lot. I can use printf, and then we'll call this empty.txt, and you should see here the empty file appears and it has zero bytes in it, so it is completely empty. What I've done is I've given it an empty string, so printf does have an argument that it's receiving, and the argument is a zero length string. So it creates an empty file. Now if I want to add to that file, hello world, I can do so. And if I want to add to that file, good night moon, I can do that as well. So now if I were to look at this file, which I will do with cat, we'll go ahead and look at empty.txt. We can see hello world, good night moon, but oh, guess what? I forgot to add my new lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that file, rumruff, and I'm gonna create it again. First, I'm gonna create an empty file. I don't have to do that. I could create it right off the bat with some text. Then I'm gonna put my hello world, and then I'm gonna put my good night moon with my slash in. And now if I cap that out, I get the text that I expect. Now there's one more thing. I just did command K to clear that screen there. There's one more thing we can do with printf that's pretty nifty. Now, we need to be using bash to do this because there's some commands that when I show them, I show them in fish, but they're really more for scripting. And so if we're doing scripting commands, we need to be in bash. So in this case, I just type bash. I don't have to put a file name because I'm not running a script. I'm going into scripting mode. So if I do printf percent %q, this is a very wonderful debugging tool, I could put in something like hello world, and notice I have single quotes as I, I've had the entire time. Let's put a good four spaces or five or however many that was in there. All right, now I'm gonna hit enter and I should have put a, a new line in there. Let me go back to make this easier to read. I'm gonna clear out my screen. Oops. And I'm gonna put a new line at the end there. There we go. Oh, huh, that's expected it to put the new line in. Oh, I know why, I know why. The new line actually has to go with the quote as it were. Okay, let me try this one more time. Okay, so we're gonna print out a quoted string, percent Q is for quoted string or escaped 
string really because it's not about the quotes it's about the escapes so i put a string here with a bunch of spaces in the middle and at the end and it shows me here's what this would look like if i wanted to escape it and sometimes it'll use quotes and sometimes it'll use escapes it just kind of depends on the way that you format the string in the first place oh let me see that i forgot to copy the last space there Oh no, what did I do? Oh, <laughs> terrible, terrible person that I am. I went back to the old habits. They die hard, you know. Okay, so now if I print F and I paste that string, you can see that it prints out as a single string. So that's what I wanted to go over. I'm going to be using printf from now on, except for when I make little mistakes like that, because there's no use in learning echo, because printf does everything that echo does, and then it does two more things that are nice, and actually a few more if you learn them later on. But that was that. I just want you to know the value of printf, and uh, anytime you see yourself using echo, stop, use printf, and then just put a slash in at the end of the line instead if it needs it, and you'll be good to go. So with that, let's see what I got here. Just wanted to let you know that there's another the, another video already in the playlist, so you can just let it keep playing if you're in the playlist. And I don't remember what it is because I'm doing this one a little bit out of order to go back and backfill. But if you would like to see the live streams, there is the link to subscribe and follow the live streams on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube in the comments as well as another little channel that I do called Health Wealth Commitment for daily lifestyle morning shower thoughts. And of course, if you like this content and you want these nice edited versions, then subscribe on Beyond Code Bootcamp, which is in the description there. With that, I will see you later. Adios.